So guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with a brand new series. Now I am super pumped for this series because in this series a lot of people have been asking about it. What are the best soakers? Now one by one I'm going to talk about some of the top 10 and then I'm going to go into some more like as this series goes, some more shenanigans-y soakers, some things that you don't really expect as, ooh, that could work. Now starting off at number one, this guy is, well, you know, for lack of a better word, underused. Now, just to tell you how this series is going to go, um, I'm going to take the soaker. It is going to be way leveled up so I can show you how much damage each of these individual turrets does over here. I've got an X plant, a regular turret, a heavy turret, and then I've got a tech turret over there. My bad, I couldn't think of that. And then I have another 150 tame over there, and we're going to run that up against a super wall and see how long it lasts. So, Let's go ahead and test this guy out. So let's see how much damage the Doodicarus, not the Doodicarus, Diplodocus takes. Now, he is really fast, which is a huge benefit for him. I am in god mode, so I'm going to turn that off. Oopsies. Not a good way to start my first episode, but oh well. Hopefully you guys can appreciate the fact that I'm trying. Come on now. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop off real quick. Tab. Now we're good. Okay. So I'm going to ride this guy into battle. Let's see how much damage the plant species X does. Alright, so the plant species X seems to be doing 18 damage on that side of him. We'll go ahead and rotate this way to see just in case. Nope, it's 18 across the board. So the plant species X seems to be doing 18 damage, which is not too bad, but it's that slow effect that you really want the plant species X for. Now, obviously 10 seconds of being slowed is a real pain in the butt, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next turret. Now, just so you know, all of these guys over here have regular saddles on them, so 20 base saddles. Let's see how much this heavy does, or this regular turret. Okay, so it seems to be taking 65 across the board. I don't see any way to change how it takes that or increase in that. It looks like it's just straight up 65 damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. 65 damage is understandable. I can I can handle that. All right, so let's check out this heavy. So this is the heavy turret. Maybe. Oh, this is the tech. Oh, there you go. There's your answer. So there's 250 off the bat, and then a splash damage of 102 if I'm moving around. So he takes 250 base from this tech. And it looks like occasionally a movement damage of 102 for splash. But 250 looks like a pretty solid safe thing. That's how much damage he's going to be taking. Okay, so 250 damage. Let's go ahead and check out the heavy. There's our 150 that's going to be ran against that wall in a second here. All right. And the heavy. How much damage do you do? 256. So this guy looks like he actually takes reduced damage from the tech turret. 256 from the heavy, just across the board. And then the tech turret seems to do 250. I'm not getting any angle in which he takes any less damage. So it looks like 256 is how much he's going to be basically taking from that. Okay, turn it on. Seriously, I'm, I'm going to test out. What, what are you doing? Get out of my way. Stop this. All right, so let's test this one more time. Yeah, so 250, and if you're moving, it looks like it takes 102 because it's like a splash damage. So he actually takes reduced damage, I think. Interesting. So he takes less damage from the tech than he does from the heavy. Wow, 250. Yep, that's pretty solid, and I don't have an angle in which he takes extra damage. So 250 from that, and let's just check one more time in case, you know, in case we were just getting unlucky. And then 256, yeah, a solid 256 with no change in angle. So, we're going to go ahead and move this guy over here, and we're going to show you the next part of this. So that's how much damage he takes, the Diplodocus. Um, this one is obviously way above the limit, so what he's not supposed to be. This is a 150 perfect tame Diplodocus, just so you can see me level it and everything. Here's the base saddle. We're going to go ahead and put that on him. 
So that's a level 20 or armor 20 saddle. And uh, we're going to add some experience to him. He's got 10,000 starting health. Looks like he goes up about 2,000 health per time. So that's not bad. Wow, he's actually got some really high health stat. My goodness. Okay. I'm okay with that. 100,000 health. Okay. So look at that health stat. That is insane. 100,000 health off a of wild tame? Woofda. I will take that all day. Now, just because I know inevitably he's going to be that's not possible, blah, blah, blah. Whether or not it's possible, this is official stats, or at least I have my server set to official stats. And uh, on top of that, I'm going to test all the dinos the exact same way. So we'll get a pretty good comparison on, you know, what goes where. So the Diplodocus, this guy is sitting at 100,000. That's intense, man. 100,000 health. So let's talk about some of the benefits here. He's got some speed so he can get in and out of situations quickly. And what I'm going to do, because this seems to be the best way probably to use him, is I'm going to back in. Because if I back into this giant death wall then I think that I'll be able to run using his sprint stat, so I can just sit back and eat some veggie cakes and soak some more. Oh man, it's going to take me nine years to get back into this thing. Okay, so now I'm going to go K-mode on this just so we can see. It looks like... I think these are all on medium, so this should hit me not yet, but pretty soon. I'm going to take a couple of screenshots because it's going to look super cool. All right, we're going to drop our gamma just a touch. Let's do like 1.7. There we go. I hate that glare that you sometimes get, even though my light bloom is off totally. All right, come on now, big guy. You can do this. I have faith in you. Okay, we're going to make sure we are backing straight into all of them. And here we go. So some raw, slow speed backing up. Let's just leave it that way. All right, we should be taking some damage. There it goes. My goodness. So, we just soaked all of that. Wow! Look at that. That's crazy. And that took half of his health. So, no reduced damage, but that 100,000 health with that many turrets, that's a lot to soak. So, that being said, if you can just dip in and out of the range... We're going to go and see if we can get a cool screenshot here. Okay, so he's actually lasting for a little bit right there. Man, those things melt. They did a load of damage. But as you can see, we've got six, 18 of each different type of turret. So not even a full base. And this is only a wild tame with no imprinting bonus, so keep that in mind. But it absolutely shredded his health, which is just nuts. Um, that's, that's insane. That, that dropped his health very fast. Now, I want to see what happens when I bring the big boy over there. Now, this is a 1500 tame, so... Wow, you're going to get stuck in the water, aren't you? We're gonna just going to, you know, full-on send here. Rotate. There we go. Alright, so this one, 1500-wise... <laughs> It's just for entertainment purposes at this point, but we know the Diplodocus has a huge health base, which is nice. And my goodness, look at that. That's pretty cool. I think this is neato. That's a really cool view, but man, he is taking a pretty good set of reduced damage. That's intense. Okay. So he's lasting quite a while. Look how fast that health is dropping, though. So he's got a base health of 1 million. Which I don't know, you know. If you can breed these Diplodocus, I feel like you might actually be able to reach that kind of stat. I'm not entirely sure on that. But, I mean, that wild 150 hit a health stat of 100,000 without any boosts. No, be no better saddle, no anything. So the health pool on these guys is absolutely intense. Wow! So, let's say here, now, and this is what I've heard from some people, that you can get the Diplodocus into easy four to 500,000 health range, if you can manage to do that. You saw how much this thing just soaked, and that is absolutely OP if that's the case. I, I'm not entirely sure, so that'd be something people would have to breed for a long time to figure out, 
But if they could get that health stat up really high, man, these things are dangerous. This is kind of like a hidden OP tame. Because that base health, if you, I mean, look, this one only had 1 million health. So if you can get to 500,000, I just soaked that entire wall for a really long time. So it looks like it takes reduced damage from text too. Not a bad first little soaking guide here. Pretty sweet little tame. And uh, other than that, if there's anything you should think I should add to this video, please let me know. And uh, other than that, Teacher's Game 2, ow.